Hello everyone, this is Draven Arts Productions here, and today I just got myself I just got myself something in the mail yesterday, and it has been sitting on one of my store in my storage for a day now, so I'll go ahead and open it. I think it's going to be familiar to most of you out there. Alrighty, it's the wrapping is out. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Brio World or Brio Old Steam Engine. Now, in case you are wondering why that I got this, it's because I am planning to do something with this as a custom. So, yeah, you know. Anyway, I really like how this background really is on this packaging. And then 3 plus, and then FSC. I think this is some type of that company brand or whatever, or something like that, who also did the same thing to Thompson Friends Wood or something. I don't know, but yeah. And then the back of it, and it looks really amazing everything. It is really amazing everywhere. Just wow. Then we get this tank and gen locomotive thing, as well as some other rolling stock and even some other rolling stock and engines. And even that log car from Brio. So, with all that said and done, I'll go ahead and open it. I'll just go ahead and open it. Hmm. What do use this way? Hmm. Maybe I should take this one off. Probably that's the only way to open off, maybe? Ooh. Oop, knock over the tanker. Yes, going, all right. So this is exactly how I opened it. Just pull one of those sides, try to keep the packaging like that. Yeah, I think I might keep it for some reason, I don't know. And also this plastic thing. Yeah, that's one. That one. Now let's get on to the old steam engine himself itself. It looks really good. Hmm, only this could really get into a focus. Gotta move it to the other side. What is going on? All right, so it looks pretty good at the front with a cow catcher and it has that lamp there. And the side it looks pretty good. And then those metal things on the wheels says Brio. And then the side rods are really interesting. Those are really interesting. Hmm. What a very nice feature to just 
have those side rods on there. Then the top of the phone, and, and then your thing looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, pretty amazing. And then underneath it says Brio, and it's pretty good. I really do like how that the end wheel really does that. I mean, looks like this is connected to a side rod with that metal piece there, and even that piece there. That was really amazing, or something like this. I mean, looks like Brio did pretty well, did pretty well for this, for this type of locomotive, something that's based on the for, for all American locomotive. I think that I said it right. So, yeah, I think that I, that I said it. Yeah. But other, but other than that, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Hmm. Doesn't even, doesn't even really move very well on track by track, but slightly. Hmm. I think the wooden railway track will be quite very good. And yes, it does. Moves really well. The only reason why that I decided to have the the old steam engine from Brio is because you you may remember in one of my community posts like about months ago back in October 2020 that I showed you the bow tender the custom bow tender yeah yeah that bow tender and I think it turns out pretty good even though my littering isn't really the best but it's still good so I am very glad that I have the old steam and the old steam engine so that way I'll be able to make the front of bow which you'll be seeing it in my next custom video so overall it looks pretty good Oh, looks like the parts of the side rods literally pop out. I mean, wow. This is just how amazing it is. Yeah, it does fit on there very well. Like some other brands, like probably Thomas & Friends Wood and even Thomas & Friends Wooded Railway, as well as its own Brio track. But for Check Mister, however, it does. It does. But sometimes there, the wheel right there could literally slip and will not move. But sometimes it will. Hmm, I think I might try the classic Trackmaster track right there. Hmm. I think it does agree with it a little bit. Yeah, it does agree a little bit. And then I might I'll go ahead and try the Tomy track. Alrighty, I brought some Tomy track and I'm using those curves for now. So yeah. So hmm. It so it moves on there too. Probably it might it it does do the same thing. So, hmm, don't mind for that. Pretty good of this old steam engine. I really do like it. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It's just that amazing that that Brio literally made it very good and really great how they really turned out one of those incredible real life locomotives how they should be 
so yeah, that's the old steam engine from Brio, and um, I think I might give this a per a perfect ten out of ten because of its detail, and as well as the side rods, or. Maybe I might give this old steam engine probably like a 10.10 .10 out of 10. So, yeah, probably a 10.10 .10 out of 10 it is. So, it looks pretty good. And I know that kids deserve better quality toys than this. And I can understand why. And... And even I can I can understand that some other videos that I looked on about kids deserve better quality toys than this. Well, yeah, the Thomas and Friends Wood range is for kids, and um, kids deserve better quality toys than this than what they already got. So. I can understand from a YouTuber called Trevor Davis, and if you don't know the YouTube YouTube user, I will put a link in the description below. So, yeah, that's the old steam engine. So, I'll I'm I'll be very lucky to have this engine to be customized as bow, and then it is going to be really perfect. And I'm not going to be making a Trackmaster custom because it might be a little bit of a pain to do. Unlike, yeah, it is a little bit of a pain to do. And I could really see a custom Trackmaster video of Trackmaster Productions 2016 did it, did his. So I don't mind for that. And then I really saw Thomas and Friends 47's video of, of his custom bow. And I gotta say, it is really amazingly cool. And, and make it a little bit realistic, maybe? I don't even really know, but... So, yeah. So, that's the old steam engine for you. And also, before you go... I just wanted to give a shout out to Trevor Davis as well as Thomas and Friends 47 because Thomas and Friends 47 makes really good content as well as a series and for Trevor Davis and for Trevor Davis shows some incredibly good videos as well as his thoughts on every single series of Thomas and and so on. Anyways, this is this is the review and um I'll see you again soon and stay tuned for the next video which will be on the layout maybe. Who knows? Anyways, this is Straven Arts Productions signing out and have yourselves a really good day.